first heard about Celine through a stylist friend. It just felt like something finally cut through my emotional sensibility, you know? There are not many houses left I can rely on for that subdued, quiet dignity. Quiet dignity matters to me, and I think it matters to Phoebe too. There are many parallels between our lives. I'm a gallerist, and she's married to one. She was born in Paris, and I regularly catch the Eurostar when I do the fairs. I take quality and aesthetics seriously. And I think Phoebe does too. A real gallerist is unobtrusive and anonymous. Today, I can wear my pool slides for meetings at Claridge's, and no one bets an eyelid. That's function. Those blocks of color, they look exactly like the Bauhaus coat in Luke 30. Pure genius Philo. Phoebe brought a whole new lux consistency, a cleaner kind of chic. We were hooked. Now it's become the way I curate my life. Yesterday I took a picture of the sky on my way back from Cafe Gitan and tagged it very hashtag Phoebe Philo and it got 295 likes. It was grey and textured, and it reminded me of the walls of the new London store I saw on Style Bubble. Now I want to redo my floors, but my landlord is like, no fucking way, Vivian! I choose this house because it's created the uniform for the ultra-modern woman. The Philo effect. At first I thought, luxury leather is too old for me. You know, at that point I was a, a maximalist. You know, all 70s prints. But so is Phoebe at heart. At work, we have this, this motto. WWPPD. What would Phoebe Philo do? Wear Stan Smith with a suit. Wear your sleeves too long. Keep a part of lush seasonal greenery always available and keep your left shirt tail tucked in, right tucked out. Buy your jumper two sizes too big, then tie it around your waist. At the Vogue Festival, I was sitting front row. I didn't know if she would get on with me, you know, if we would see cool eye to eye. But I caught hers just for a tiny second, we smiled.